Hey everyone, welcome back to Code of the Row. In this video, we're going to be going over the four best resources that I like to use in order to study the gameplay ability system. And let's go ahead and get started. So number one is going to be this Unreal Engine documentation. And all the links are listed below. I'll pin it in the comments below. And yeah, so number one, gameplay ability system by Unreal Engine documentation. So in the documentation, it does go over exactly what the gameplay ability system is. You can even check out their Valley of the Ancient sample. So they even give you a C++ code to actually set it up, whether you want to set it up in your character or in your player state, whether you're building this for single player or multiplayer. And they even go over the gameplay effects, gameplay cues, ability tasks, and so on. And there is a ton of good information here if you're just getting started with gas. I do recommend to actually check this out and read through it just so you get a better understanding when going on to the other projects listed in this video. So next up, next up is the Tranic gas documentation, which even comes with a sample project that you can actually try out. And it just has some shooting mechanics showing damage and hit effects, some hit reactions. You can even cast a spell and you'll see the staggered or stun effect. And you can even have some special effects of them dying and then them respawning. And there's even some uh, damage components that you can show on your UI. So you can see my HP ticking down every second. Uh, here's some quick regen to get it all back up and over here as well. And yeah, just some really cool stuff. There's even like target meteor stuff that'll knock down as an AOE ability. And yeah, I think this is super cool to read through. There is a ton and ton and ton of information as you can see how tiny my scroll wheel is it goes through a lot of things it is a really really good read through and you will get a good understanding of the c aspect of gameplay ability system and pretty much what you can do with it and how and next up on the list is the arpg project created by epic games and it's and it's being updated by this senior technical designer who is an authorized unreal engine instructor um I'm really, really thankful that he did this because it's really nice to go through the C++ and actually just download this project in 5.4. He's actually updating this for the latest version. So I'm able to actually download this and play it. And actually, you can even see the source code from here if you don't want to manually open up the project in Visual Studios, but you can make changes and so on and simply just and simply just edit game itself. And this is oriented more towards mobile games. So you can kind of see how stats are applied to characters. So for example, we'll open up this gameplay effect stats base and you will see these uh, max health and it's referencing these starting stats data table or a curve table. And you'll see that it's just a set linear path. So for example, level one gives you these stats, level two gives you these stats in this entire column and so on. And it goes up to level 10. So really nice to just nitpick out the information here and and to see how Epic decided to make their mobile game or mobile friendly game using the gameplay ability system. And last but not least is Lyra. So this is a project that actually a lot of companies are building off of. And this has a ton of stuff, multiplayer ready combat, along with stuff like equips, really nice shooting, really a really nice UI. And just it's pretty much just a full fledged game just using the Unreal Engine mannequin. And it looks amazing see damage effects some really cool death animations playing there healing effects you can see your hp and yeah you can have there are a ton of abilities that you can go through so and you can head over to the c++ classes folder and look at all the c++ classes that are already made for you so i've seen quite a few plugins actually extract components from lyra and add it to their own for example the lyra ability set which is a really, really good way to handle animation montages using t gameplay tags, for example, or just on certain ability events such as status effects or granting certain tags and actors to different characters. And there's just a ton and ton that you can extract and learn from this. And everything is properly commented. And if you are new to the ability system, I do recommend starting with the Lyra ability system component first, just to simply see how this is applied. And if you're very new, you can probably just copy paste this into chat GPT. So for example, if I were to just open up chat GPT over here, but I'm just going to go ahead and just copy all this and paste it into chat GPT. And it's pretty much just going to tell you exactly what it's doing. So it's going to say that it's a custom class that extends the U ability system component, and it'll tell you the exact purpose of this class, the functions and so on. There isn't that much documentation available to us yet. So you do, so my preferred way of learning is just to download sample projects and read through the code. And not everyone knows how to read through the code. It is not the easiest thing to do, but you can also look through a lot of the blueprints 
And there's just a ton of information that you can find throughout the project. And on the Epic Games website by Unreal Engine, there is some Lyra starter game documentation that you can read through that. And yeah, there are even different types of game modes that Lyra come with. This pretty, this looks kind of funny to me just because of the way the character runs. And yeah, so feel free to check out those free resources. So I've been looking around for some plugins that really enhance on the gameplay ability system because I know a lot of people in my community did ask for ways to just use gas to use gas with blueprint only and not c plus plus and in my opinion the best one that i actually found is from ninja bear studio so basically they have multiple components a ninja combat factions gas input and inventory and all of these kind of work in conjunction but i was able to easily get a whole gas project up and running within about within 30 minutes i was able to set up combat attack stats even some ui and it's not the prettiest but let me go ahead and show you the project so as you all know, I am a huge Sinti fan and I pretty much just set up this really simple character. Yeah, that HP bar is way too big, but as you can see, my stats are displayed on the top left. It'll show myself having 100 mana, 100 stamina, 500 HP, and I haven't touched anything in C++. So when I go ahead and just attack this, you'll see this goblin or orc, whatever, has a hit reaction and his HP slowly going down. I haven't worked much on the UI. I turned on traces just to configure this. And yeah, it's really easy to set up. And let me go ahead and show you some of the debug. So when I go ahead and just show the debug ability system, you can see all the stats that I already have. And I just had to set this via a data table, which was super easy to set up. And I was just in awe at how easy it was to set up. So I just created a simple data table called test gas in my content browser. And I simply just added this pre-made ninja combat attribute set and just double click on this gas DT. And I can pretty much just assign the variables here. This comes with the project and it's already ready for us to pretty much create. So I just assign my HP to 500, max health to 500, and so on. You can see I just do um, 30 damage like so. There's the magic rate, stamina, health regen, whatever. And they're optional to use. And of course, you can just add on to this data table for whatever stats you want. And then this, whatever, whoever is holding this data table will have these attributes. So for example, I just have a simple attack and a hit reaction. And you can see that in my character, or better yet, in my enemy, that I simply just I simply just go to my character abilities and just assign that ability set up here. So they can have different types. And it's super easy to set up and it's all replicated. And this is replicated, so I'm gonna set my net mode to play as listen server. When I go ahead and click play, I'll just turn my main character to face this goblin. And then I'll just have this character um, just attack the goblin. So you can see the HP goes down a little bit by bit on both player screens. And you can see the hit reaction happening on both ends as well, like so. So it's really easy to set up. The creator of this plugin has been working on it for years. If you wanna check it out, uh, just let them know I sent you in the general and I'll post a link to that in the description below. And yeah, for playing with this for less than an hour, honestly, it was really easy to start up. I absolutely love how well put this is together. And I really like how Ninja Bear Studio is supporting Gas Hardcore. They really see the potential in this and I see a lot of potential in this plugin to be huge, especially with bigger companies that are looking to make multiplayer games. And yeah, thanks for watching. Code Grow, like, subscribe, comment below what you want to see next and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.